Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to a new episode of Chill Time with Kelly. I'm your host, Kelly. And I forgot to mention this on my last episode, but yes, I have an actual mic now. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can see me using the actual mic. I got this for my birthday uh, about two weeks ago. And we are trying this out to see how well this works. And I think it has worked really, really well. So on this episode, I am answering the question that I have been getting a lot recently that I have kind of answered a little bit here and there. But this one, I felt like it was time to get a full answer. And that is why did I do this magazine interview that I keep on talking about in my past couple episodes? So how, so this magazine interview with Bold Journey. Now, this was not a publicity kind of thing. A lot of people ask me, did I do it for publicity? And I did not. I am going to straight up say I did not. And if you are new to my podcast and if you are new to chill time with kelly i did a magazine interview back in march and it was the hardest thing i think i have ever done and here's why now remember my podcast is all around themed on mental health doing this magazine interview was literally the scariest slash hardest thing I have ever done because there were so many things that I felt like I should not say. And that literally, like, it definitely challenged my mental health extremely because it was just me, it was mainly me wondering, what should I say? What should I not say? Would people think that I'm boring? Ring, or would people think I'm shocked or would it inspire people like all these questions in my mind just was playing through my head and that led of course to spirals and that is literally why I really wanted to talk about it here on my podcast because I want to share the biggest impact it had on me and definitely also my audiences as well. So it ga- that magazine interview, it gave me the chance to just fully be transparent with myself and just acknowledge all the challenges that I have faced growing up. And I wanted it to be a story that inspires other people that even if you're at your very, very lowest it is not permanent. Sorry, it is not permanent. Like it only is a challenge slash bridge to get you to where you want to be, which is success. And that's exactly what I wrote in that interview. And I just really highlighted that a story of how I literally define the odds as a scientist because as a spoiler if you have not read my article yet I talked about a time where I literally had to do a presentation the next day and I was told the night before I had to scrap the whole project and start all over again and keep in mind this project it took me six months to do So six months of work that I had to scrap and then had to redo within like 12 hours because I was told at nine o'clock, I started the project, my redo project at 10 o'clock and it was due at 9 a.m. the next day and I had to present as well at 12 o'clock. So I literally only had 12 hours to redo the project, redo everything repractice my whole speech and presentation redo the whole presentation and and 
it was a lot. It was a lot. I did not think I was going to be able to do it, but I did. And it just was a nice reminder of for myself of just looking back on that journey, how far I have come and how much I knew that story was going to inspire other people. So that's why I did. And literally the feedback was insane. And this is not bragging. Like my podcast is never, my podcast is never about uh, bragging or anything like that. It is just to share what I have gone through and to for your my audience to be inspired about my stories and just overall feel that they are not alone and that's my always my intentions around my show so I feel like I have to disclaim that in like every single episode oh but the also the amount of I literally put my my whole life is literally pretty much all online so It is what it is, and I chose for it to happen, but there are some parts I do uh, keep pretty private. But definitely it was my journey that I do not really keep private because I want people to be inspired by that story. And that's mainly why I did that magazine interview. And again, if you have not read it, it's going to be linked in the description box. It's also linked on my Instagram, which is at at K-E-L-L-W-O-548. Follow me there. Uh, If you ever have any podcast ideas that you want to hear about from me dms are always opened i definitely want to get back into the podcasting ever since that rut i have been in with lack of inspiration and everything and also things being rough on like my personal end there's been so many changes in my life that literally it has been kind of hard to keep up with and it is all positive changes but it's just at the point where I'll talk about, I think I'll talk about this in my next episode, but it's just so many good things happening that it's hard to comprehend everything in kind of a way, if that makes sense. But I'll talk about that in my next episode. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Chill Time with Kelly. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you all on the next episode.